Is buying a home more stressful than dating? According to a recent survey, young folks and millennials believe that it is. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about why they think that way and how to make it less stressful. Welcome to the Homeowner Prep Podcast, where every week we educate and encourage aspiring homeowners to help them buy their first home faster. If you aspire to own a home, you're in the right place. So enjoy. Do us a favor and leave a review, a rating, and be sure to subscribe. Now let's get to this week's episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Homeowner Prep Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Hallon. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about a recent survey that was done by Redfin that said that buying a home is actually more stressful than dating. Now this survey talked to a lot of people from different age groups, different generations, and that statistic was alarming and it definitely caught the headlines, but that was according to millennials and Gen Zers, younger folks, people who are buying their first home. So yes, buying your first home can be and will be stressful, but is it more stressful than dating? According to this research, they actually compared buying a home to several different things. And the age group that actually thought that buying a home was a lot easier than some of the other generations were the baby boomers, folks who have been through it, folks who have seen some things and lived a little bit of life. And so they figured that, hey, buying a home, yeah, it can be stressful, but it's not as stressful as dating or divorce or even trying to get admitted into a college. So when you have different generations, you have different viewpoints. That's to be expected. But let's talk about why young people think buying a home is so stressful. The first thing you have to realize is that buying a home is more often than not the largest investment that people make. So when it comes to making a large investment, maybe having to save a lot of money, put a lot of money up as collateral in order to buy the home, it can be a little stressful to think I'm giving up all this money and what am I getting in return? Or better yet, I hear a lot of young folks, first time home buyers say, well, if I buy this house, there's going to be a lot of work that's needed. And I'm not sure if I have the money to take care of the home after I buy it. So you have to realize that when you are buying a home, the easiest way to kind of combat these negative thoughts about home ownership is to speak with other people who are homeowners. Talk to them, get an understanding of what they pay on a monthly or annual basis to do repairs, how they felt a year after buying their home. Did they feel like they made the biggest mistake of their life or do they wish that they bought more homes when they bought their first home? The second reason why millennials thought that buying a home was more stressful than dating, divorce, and getting admitted to college was the simple fact that they didn't have anybody leading the way for them. You know, you got to have some people in your corner. I always say it's so vital for you to put a team together of experts in the field of real estate, lending, home insurance, all these different aspects of home ownership, you need to have some folks in your corner who are going to lead the charge for you, who are going to guide you every step of the way. If you're trying to go about it on your own, I guarantee you that buying a home is going to be very stressful because you're not going to have answers. And the more clarity you have, the easier the process becomes. So get some folks in your corner, get an agent, a lender, get a home inspector, get these folks ready to go. So when you're ready to go, they're willing to work with you and get you to the finish line. If you don't know of an agent, a lender, or even somebody to help you with your credit that works specifically for your situation or in your community, definitely reach out to us. We can connect you with somebody who's there local and experienced to help take some of that stress off your shoulders. The third reason why buying a home can be very stressful is because for these young folks, it was their first home. So when you're buying your first home, just like anything, when you're trying it for the first time, is going to be very stressful. There are going to be things that come up that you feel are holding you back. And when it's your first time, this is all new. So every incident, every issue, everything is going to be a big deal. Sometimes first time home buyers, you might turn a molehill into a mountain because it's big and insurmountable to you because you've never been through the process before. So that's why a lot of the older generations, the baby boomers really didn't see buying a home as that stressful of a situation, like the younger folks who are buying a home for the first time. So definitely I get it as a first time home buyer. 
I was stressed as well. I didn't even think that we could afford to pay the mortgage. But here we are buying multiple homes later on, investing in real estate. And the more you do something, the better at it you get. So I encourage you, if you're a first time home buyer, you're looking to get started in the process, reach out to us here at Homeowner Prep and we can help you put a plan together. So that way we can clarify some things in the process, help you understand the journey from beginning to end and hopefully relieve some of that stress that you may have. If you want to get started with homeowner prep, feel free to reach out to us by texting the word start to 619-848-3700. Or you can visit us on our website at homeownerprep.com forward slash start. From there, you'll be able to set up an initial consultation and we can sit down with you and answer some of the questions that may be pressing. If you just have a quick question or a unique scenario that you want to run by us, feel free to reach out to us on social media. We're on all social media platforms and we tend to get the majority of our questions on our Instagram account at homeowner prep. I hope you got some value from today's episode. I hope you realize that buying a home can be stressful, even more stressful than dating when it's your first time, when you don't have a team in place and you don't have somebody there answering questions along the way. So do these things, help yourself be successful and take some of that stress away. I look forward to providing you with some more great content on the next episode. And until then, be blessed. If you've enjoyed this show and got some great value from it, please be sure to rate and review. And if you're checking it out on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. That really does help us to continue the show and bring in some great guests to help you on your home buying journey.